when the narcissist sees you with someone new. When they see that you have moved on. When they see that you have found someone else and you're happier without them. When the narcissist sees you as someone new, they will be very envious and jealous. They will feel like something has been taken away from them and they will have a desire to take something from you. Once you have been with the narcissist, they see it as though that's it for life. They see you as their property, as an object that exists to serve them. In their minds, they invested a lot into you, so now you belong to them. Even if all they did was cause problems and inconveniences in your life, They don't believe they did anything wrong. They don't reflect on their own faults or mistakes. So in their minds, you had no right to leave. You had no right to move on and find someone else. Even though all they did was make your life miserable. Even though they may have discarded you they don't want you to move on and be happy. They don't want you to be successful. They want you to be miserable just like them. So they will try to come back. They will try to get back in your life again when they see that you're moving on and they will try to sabotage anything that you're trying to establish. They will either come back on their own or they will get one of their flying monkeys to do their bidding because they just can't stand to see you moving on. They just can't stand to see you being happy with someone else. The very envious and jealous people. When they see that you're happy, it just reminds them how miserable they are. And they cannot deal with their own negative feelings. So they will try to destroy whatever it is that's making you happy to regulate their emotions. When the narcissist sees you as someone new, they will also come back out of curiosity. With a strong desire to learn or know more about your situation. They will want to know if you're really happy without them or if you're still attached to them. because they want to feel like you still want them. They want to feel like you still desire them. Not because they care about you, not because they want to make things right, but because it feeds their ego. Narcissists want to feel desirable. They want to feel wanted by someone. They may act like they don't care or so they've moved on, but they're still thinking about you. They're still competing with you. They never move on. They never forget about you. As soon as they start to see that you're moving on, they will come back with their love bombing or with threats and intimidation. Whatever they think will get you under their control again.
the idea of you finding someone else makes the narcissist very uncomfortable. They can't stand to see you being happy. They can't stand to see someone else having a strong influence on you. Someone who is outside of their control. So the narcissist will come back and try to get this person under their control. They will try to sabotage your new relationship. Or if they can't do that, they will try to befriend your new relationship partner. They will try to bond with them. Because they can't deal with the idea of not being able to be an influence in your life. There's something constantly triggering in their mind where they're always wondering what they might be missing out on. So they just can't stay away. They always have to come back to see what's going on. To see if you're still thinking about them. Or to see if you've moved on. They never wanted to do what's right for you. They never had your best interest in mind. But their worst nightmare is someone coming along and doing what they never did for you. Someone treating you right. Because that translates to them that they were not good enough. It tells them that someone else is better and it makes them feel small. And it's that feeling of inadequacy that they cannot deal with. Which is why they come back. Which is why they try to destroy your happiness. Because they could never make you happy. They were too insecure to do that for you. But if you've moved on and found someone else who is secure enough to witness your happiness, it just reminds them how weak they really are. Because they could never sit in that space for you. But when someone else can, it just reminds them that something is wrong with them. And they don't like how that feels. When the narcissist sees you as someone new, they can't accept that you are happier without them. They have to tell themselves that something's wrong. They have to tell themselves that you're not happy. That you're just pretending. Or you're just settling for whatever you can find. They cannot accept that you're happier without them. They're very selfish. They need you to be constantly focused on them. So when they see that someone else has your attention, they will come back to cause disruption. Because they just can't deal with the idea that they have lost control of you. They're no longer an influence in your life. They're no longer important. They're always lurking in the shadows. They're always waiting to see just how important you are to them. But when they see you as someone new, it's a wake up call for them. It brings them back to reality. And that is something they don't want to deal with. So they will entertain their delusions, but you just need to keep moving on. Keep doing what makes you happy. And let the narcissist do what they do best. Let them watch. Let them study you. They were never strong enough to be a willing participant in your life. 
but now you've found someone who can. This may trigger the narcissist to reflect on their insecurities. But that has nothing to do with you. Just keep doing you. You shouldn't have to tone down your happiness to make someone else feel more comfortable. Your life is yours to live. They had the opportunity to share that with you, but they threw it away. They took it for granted. Narcissists never miss what they have until it's gone, but you can value what you have. You can give it the nourishment it needs to grow. And that is a beautiful thing. So enjoy it and let the narcissist hate. Let them wallow in their mud and you just keep doing you. You just keep doing what makes you happy. After everything you had to go through with them. Live the life that you deserve. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.